everyone, this is Emily, the M half of M Staff Adventures. We're so excited to bring you along on our day of exploring the Georgetown neighborhood of Washington, D.C. We had such a fun day riding the Metro in from our hotel in Tyson's Corner. The Metro was packed with Nationals fans because they had just won the World Series and the energy was awesome. We loved walking through the neighborhoods of Georgetown. The trees were in full color. It was a perfect fall day. The best part was walking around looking at all the architecture, taking in the variety of shops and interesting people, interesting things to see and do. We went down to Grace Treat Coffee, which is in a really cool location. It's a local coffee roaster. Their coffee was delicious. They were very friendly and in a really cool spot. And then we continued to walk around the neighborhoods. My friend Anna lives in DC. And let me tell you guys, get a local to show you around DC if you have a chance because they know all the best spots. Uh, she was also able to point out a lot of fun historical things for us, like the Watergate building here in the background of this shot and the Francis Scott Key Bridge that we crossed on our way in from Rosalind, which is named after the man who wrote the Star Spangled Banner, our national anthem. We didn't use scooters this time, but they are a super fun way to get around the city if you get tired of walking. Right around this time, we had actually just gotten hungry. So we decided to make our way over to uh, District Donuts to get ourselves a snack. On the way, we got to walk down the main drag of Georgetown. You guys, they have all the things, anything you could want, any cool hip shop or place to pick up any kind of new clothes or fashion, they have it in Georgetown. District Donuts was amazing. We love the savory donut as well as the sweet ones. There was amazing street art. And did I mention the architecture in Georgetown is awesome? Because the architecture is amazing. We decided to make our way to one of the many incredible restaurants called Bodega, a Spanish tapas restaurant. Their decor was amazing, the energy in the restaurant was great, their house wines were awesome. We highly recommend it. You can read more details of our experience there in our Yelp review. We were so stoked about the tapas, but Safir was really excited about the paella. We ended up getting a spicy shrimp and chicken paella along with about nine or ten different tapas. I really loved the shark nuggets. They were good, guys. All in all, we had an incredible time in Georgetown. We would so recommend that anyone visiting DC takes the time to check out this awesome neighborhood and uh, leave a comment below about your favorite places to visit in Georgetown. Mm -hmm.